What's the part where no one's sure this will work? I don't care. We'll make it work. We have to. Maybe it's time you told me exactly what you saw in that machine. It's not what I saw. It's... It's what I felt. They have a queen now. They're not gonna stop. Look, I woke her up. So I have to stop her. Yeah, but this isn't all on you. Come on. Let's just go see Bear. Ah, good, you're here. Grab this module off the table. Jack's about due for an upgrade. So a couple days ago, I sent Paddock a care package. Some DBs and some leeches. Hmm. Intriguing. Potentially disastrous, but intriguing. Thank you. See, the way you described Niles' machine gave me an idea. I call it Hijack. Go ahead. Try it out. What you got, Jack? Whoa, you figured out how to override the hive mind? Uh, no. Jack just floods their brains with voltage. It's crude, doesn't last long, but it works. So which swarm can we use it against? Well, our test subject data is limited, obviously, but... Uh, you know what? Go nuts out there, see what happens. Oh, uh, one more thing. Stop by and see Paddock before you go. He's out front. One more thing, Bear. Once we get this hammer up, I need to know if I can rely on you. Don't worry about that. This time, we're gonna do it right. You know what happened to Lizzie and the convoy? It wasn't your fault. Kind of you to say, but I'm the one who pushed the button. I had a bad feeling about it. I didn't want to do it, but I did. So that's on me. Speaking of, uh, all that, have you seen JD around lately? Try my best not to, kid. Come have a look, children. Until a few weeks ago, we were holding out fine against your so-called swarm. Then everything changed. They got smarter. Suddenly, they were wearing armor and they started making bees. Take one, if you want. So you all have been fighting the swarm alone? Yes, which is why I agreed to let Bear come here. We help you with your rocket launch. You help us take back our land. Speaking of which, our water supply's been cut off. We've been trying to restore it, but your swarms made that difficult, to say the least. Getting the hammer up's our priority. Say we help. What do you need? Our water tower. You'll pass it on the way out. Haven't heard from my people there in a while. Could be nothing. Could be something. Check in if you can. All right. And now the big question. 
Are your children really prepared for this? Because your skiff's ready on the runway, and the desert awaits. taste in weapons. That is reassuring. I did some training in the Deadlands back in OCS. Let me know if you want a few desert pointers. You know, only one of us grew up in a city, and it wasn't me. I think I can handle it. Okay. Bear, are we expecting anyone? No, we are not. Well, this can't be good. I don't believe this. I hope you're not here to stop us. Actually... Because you can't. Kate. Maybe you should try listening for once. Kate. I'm listening. Yeah, well, don't bother. I'm done. Okay. Because I'm here to help. If you'll have me. I'm sorry. What? Dad told me about Mount Kadar. What you learned. And... Look, I, I know you don't trust me. After everything that happened, what I've done, I, I don't blame you. So what does Jin think about you being here? Jin doesn't know. Really? And let me guess, he's here to pitch in too? Yeah. Turns out Foz isn't so bad. No, I am actually. You just got used to me. Who the hell are they? Friends. They'll be joining us. Yeah? I don't like them. Shocker. You want these two along? Fine. But I deal with you, not them. You good with that? Like I said, I'm here to help. Bear. Come on, then. Let's hop in that raven and find some satellites. No, raven. The wind flares out there will kill you. So what? We walk there. Hey, man. If you want to walk, feel free. But we got other plans. Oh, it's not that skiff, is it? OK, man. Before we go, I got a bone to pick. A big one. Sure. Pick away. You lied to me. And then, after you got hurt, you pushed us away. Like, like we didn't even know you. Look, I haven't exactly been myself, Del. I know that. All right, I know why we're here. But where are we going? An old rocket hangar to the east. And just a heads up, the nomads could use some help, too. Then let's do it. <laughs> Hold up, man. You can't just say, let's do it and make the last few months disappear. No, come on. No, it's okay. Let him get it out. No, 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 see, that's not fair. You're being unreasonable, and I want to stay mad. Then stay mad. I'm not here to prove anything. Just here to help. As am I. So it appears his decency is rubbing off on me. Delta, Paddock just let me in on something that's kind of relevant. When the UIR base commander thought he was going to lose to the Rebels, he infected all military computers with some sort of boot sector virus. Meaning most of the tech we'll find out here has been bricked for decades. Yeah. Jack should be able to power past any remaining malware and reboot the machine. He just needs access. All right, Baird. Understood. <laughs>
gotta be the rocket hangar. So let's park this thing and find an old rocket. said there's plenty of storm out here, so stay sharp. Get us up. Done. Good night. Paddock, the swarm tried to stop us, but we're heading into the hangar now. Good. Your rocket should be inside. Let me know when you need translations, because you will. I speak five languages. Okay, got it. Let's get inside. Help me. So, where do we go? Place look huge from the outside. It's gotta have a mission control. Or command center. Or whatever the UIR called it. Eh, mission control is accurate enough. And keep going. It's close. Way to keep it light, Files. Another door. Help me. This must be the place. Let's get some light in here.
Well, the lights work at least. And I'd say we found the rocket hangar. Maybe I need new glasses, but I'm not seeing any rocket. Paddock, bear. The hangar's empty. Well, shit. If the rocket was moved, there's gotta be a record of it. You know what? Hack into an access port. Let's see if Jack can bypass that virus. Okay, Jack. Let's pull some records. Okay, Jack's giving me a window into the mainframe. Whew, that's some nasty malware. Adaptive. Semi-sentient. Don't worry. Jack's got this. R right, buddy? Ha! <laughs> no virus can stop Jack. Huh, data's coming in. Patty, I assume you can read this? Yes, but much of it is encrypted. Okay, the rocket's nose cone is close. Check the assembly chamber on the other side of the hangar. Nose cone? What about the rocket? The hammer satellites are part of the nose cone. Go deal with that, and we'll keep digging on the rocket's location. Wilco, Delta out. All right, let's go find those satellites. Boss, you're bad, Gari. Did you have read those files? Nah. I was born in New Ephira. My parents wouldn't even speak for Gari with me growing up. Didn't want to see me. Yeah. Don't envy whoever had to build it. Okay. Not now. Well, let's bring that, uh, platforming thing this way. It's called a gantry? Is it, then? Jack, bring it over. Something I can try. Come on, you lot. All aboard. Okay, Foss. Take us across. With pleasure. One thing, children. I mentioned how the UIR attacked that facility and tried to launch our Hammer of Dawn satellites. Yeah. I led that attack. You did? Why? To destroy the cog. Yeah, well, makes sense. Uh, these days, I'm somewhat less interested in destroying the cog. Good to know, Paddock. Okay, let's go. Door to the satellites? Back here. to the satellites. Give me a hand. Well, no satellites here. Let's keep looking. Paddock, I'm curious. How long did your siege against this place last? Three days. We attacked the moment Premier Dishinko sat down with your chairman to discuss the armistice. You hit us with the hammer first. We thought it was only fair to hit back. Okay.
Let's get a move on. Paddock, Baird. Ran into some swarm, but we're back on track. Also, Paddock, the cog that hammered you 50 years ago isn't us. We're not them. Well, if you launch those satellites, you'll be doomed to make the same mistakes. What is this knob even on about? Last one. So, keep looking for those satellites. But now you're saying it's a mistake. What gives? You launch, you buy us some time. But eventually they'll win. You must know this. No, I don't. Door's welded shut. Then that's the door you want. Jack, rip that door. Okay. Here we go. All right, let's get set up. They're coming.
certainly a handful. And in other news, Jack got the door open. Good job. Just realized if my parents hadn't have left Vascar, my dad might have been here fighting off Paddock's men. Mm. You, Vascari, what did your father do? He was a surgeon. <laughs> then he was lucky. We shot every doctor we captured. Uh, can we turn him off? Gotcha. We found the nose cone. Oh, man, but it's missing satellites. Wait. I see the others. Either side of the chamber. Let's get on that gantry. We'll load them up one at a time. Good idea. I'll drive. Bring the gantry in closer, Jack. Just like the last one. first make the call choices choices all right off we go then uh having a problem pal no just figuring it out so our friend pat has got some uh interesting thoughts on the hammer of dawn <laughs> who's he to judge he tried to launch it himself okay Let's get that thing loaded onto the nose cone. Just need to nudge. Uh, okay, okay. Maybe it needs more of a shove. Be a little rough. Hey, what if Paddock's right about launching the satellites? Oh shit! Swarm on the other platform! There's sitting ducks down here! Boss, get us higher! On it! Uh -huh. Oh shit! This is the opposite of higher? I'm aware of that. Got it. Got it. Just keep us moving. 
so we can connect the satellite. Let's get this done. the other one. There. Watch your head. Here comes satellite number two. Satellite secure. Back onto the gantry. Let's get him to the hangar. Uh, not to burst any bubbles, but we're not getting anywhere till we open that big round door. Uh, well, there's a platform up there. Head over to it. You read my mind. All aboard! Okay, let's get up there. Okay, so what about a Launch of these satellites is a bad. He's right that the hammer's dangerous. Believe me, get that now. 
Not launching these satellites is dangerous. Believe me, a world on fire is better than the world they want. We get this thing back to the hangar. We worry about the rest later. Try this. Guys, our ride's leaving. Ah, oh, damn it. Opening that door must have triggered some automated sequence. So we babysit it on foot then. I was just camping out the drive it. Come on, up these stairs. We can't lose that nose cone. Let's keep up with it. Watch it. Below us. satellites back to the hangar now. Good. We're still decrypting these old files, but we're making progress. Head out to your skiff. We'll find your rocket soon enough. All right. We're on our way. Jack, we need some light. We're back in the hangar. We can work our way outside. Need some help. Okay, satellites are safe and sound. If we want to get out of here, we should cross to the other side. They're down. Let's keep it moving, Delta. <clears throat> Looks like we're all clear. Okay. Just so you know, whether we get the hammer working or not, I'm glad we can. Yeah, but if we don't get the hammer working, whether you came or not, I'll be over there! Incoming! Oi! 
the part like that? Yeah, pretty much. Our way out's above us. Let's get up there. Jack, get the doors open. Ever would be so difficult. Hmm. Let's see. Scientists, rocket scientists, and anyone who's used the expression, it's not rocket science. What do you think? We just push a button marked to launch? Oh, I see. Yeah. Pick on the handsome one, cut him down to size. So, we're back across. And for the record, <laughs> I'm the handsome one, okay? Paddock, we're almost out of here. Any leads on that rocket? Yes. It's at a turntable in the east, beyond the Dune Sea. There's a rail bridge blocking the way, but don't worry. My people will raise it for you. So, out in the desert, find train tracks. Then you'll know you're on the right path. Copy that. All right, let's head for the skiff. You know, all this time I thought I was the answer. Oh, dear God. but I'm a little confused. There's nothing for us to do here, right? Hey, Paddock. You still there? I got a question for you. No, I'm on launch break. Of course I'm still here. Okay, what exactly stopped you from launching the hammer? The usual problems faced by 200 dedicated patriots trying to defeat 3,000 cowards. You know, you could just have agreed to the armistice and spared a lot of lives. A Groznian proverb for you. A just war is better than an unjust peace. So, just exactly how many Groznian proverbs justify war? Eh, most of them. Children, one more thing. The bridge controls weren't networked, so the base commander's virus didn't affect them. But the bridge itself hasn't been lifted in decades. What do you say? You worried about your people not being able to raise it? No, they'll handle it. But that bridge, it's old and rusty and... Uh, just, when you're beneath it, don't linger. Copy that. All right, you heard him. Let's head for the bridge. <laughs> so, this Paddock. How does Baird even know him? Apparently, Paddock served in the COG for a while. That guy was COG. When? Uh, unclear. They didn't seem that eager to talk about it either. Come on, let's get past the bridge and over to that turntable. Place. To be honest, I'm glad my parents came to their senses and left. 
I mean, growing up around here, in the desert, shaking sand wash from your shoes. Nah, I'm good, mate. You know this always wasn't a desert, right? Most of this used to be seashore. Long before I was born, mate. There's the bridge. I hope Paddock's nomads can raise it. There it goes! Well, they haven't dropped it yet! That's good, right? And we're through! On to the turntable! Trains facing in the wrong direction. That's why it's called a turn tape. Grab the other side and let's get in there. Okay, now, how do we turn this thing? Start it by finding a control. Hey, it's one. Perfect.
fight, mate. All right. Turntable's clear. Come on. Let's get that train turned around. Need another pair of hands here. Looks like a control room to me. Now to access the control room. Jack, get that train pointed toward the hangar. Beautiful. All that's left now is to get it back to the hangar. Train's a step ahead of us. Oh, shit. Come on, we can catch up to it in the skip.
Good news, children. I don't know how you did it, but my scouts have just informed me that your rocket train safely entered the hangar. Glad to hear it, Paddock. That's the end of my good news. You have another task. Go secure the hammer's targeting beacons. Targeting beacons? But for the hammer of dawn? Our system was based on targeting beacons. I was saving that info until we knew you could get the rocket. So where are these beacons? In the southwest, at Cosmonaut Training Facility. And to be clear, if we don't secure those beacons, we don't have a hammer of dawn. Okay, we're on it. Something up ahead. Looks like old docks. Should we stop? out. react when she figures out we're getting the hammer online. Again. Son of a two shifted her thinking a bit. Obviously, no thanks to me. Meanwhile, I often wonder who stuffed that gigantic stick up her ass. <laughs> no comment from Captain Phoenix on that one. Paddock, Baird. We're heading into the training facility for the beacons. Good to know. We're standing by. I've been wondering, how the hell did all this UIR space program stuff not get out? I mean, how did the COG keep it secret? Simple, when the COG also runs the newspapers. When historians have to apply for a permit to write books. Secrets? Secrets are easy to keep. Yeah. We can all agree on that one. Oh. Guys, check out this crater. What the heck happened here? The cog happened. They fired a light mass missile on us when we were moments from seizing control of that entire facility. Wait, I'm confused. The cog? I thought this was a UIR civil war. The losers don't write the history books, Mascari. You, of all people, should know that. Glad you could write my ethnicity into the discussion again. Yeah, thanks for that.
Okay, Paddock. We're here. Listen. During our attack, I was certain the beacons were somewhere inside that place. But that computer virus locked us out of every building before I could get to them. And until your bot deals with that, you won't get to them either. You hear that, buddy? Takes in your tiny metal hands. Look for a terminal to access in the lobby's security office. What if we sent Jack through that vent? Jack, see if that vent will get you to the security office. Paddock, where do we start looking once we lift the virus? The centrifuge building. The beacons were most likely hidden there. Centrifuge. Got it. But move quickly. A storm is headed your way. Facility's activating, Delta. See? I knew Jack could do it. No sweat. Paddock, Jack cracked the virus. We're in. And you now have full access to the entire facility. That's gotta be the city. And storm or no storm, we're heading over there. That's not a good sign. Red condor out there. Yo, Bear, you lose a condor by any chance? Several, in fact, while running weapons to a certain, you know, desert-dwelling friend of mine. Keep whatever you find. Uh, okay. Solid copy. Can't believe Baird's secretly a gun runner. You're having trouble believing Baird did something covert? Really? Yeah, well, when you put it that way. Looks like we're gonna have to go through that storm to get there. Let's make it quick. Haven't run into any swarm yet. That's a fairly good sign. Don't hold your breath. Between Paddock's Civil War and the weather, you crawled in anywhere. Well, you called it! Look who's here! You got a Scion! And it's got a Bastion! Run! Get these assholes down! Now what? Jack, activate that crane. Mm -hmm. Well, that didn't work. Mm -hmm. Try another one. You 
got it. Well, let's hope this one holds. All right, Jack, let's do it again. Get in there, Jack. That's the ticket. Come on, we can get out this way. So. DBs weren't corrupted. Come on, this way. Look out! Almost there! Centrifuge building's dead ahead. Hang on, we got a straggler. Get on us! Not for long! <laughs> They're down! Let's get inside! Help me get this open. Beacons. Let's check the security cameras. Well, look who it is. Oh shit, more of them. Guys, look. Beacons are tucked away in the capsule. Yeah, but how do we get them out? We could bring the armor out. There's a platform over there. Worth a shot. See what you can do. Can't believe that knackered thing still works. Not slowing down. Oi, fuck! What did you do? This thing's older than you are, man. Jack's not a miracle worker. What about an emergency break? Well, there's some controls in place.
The beacons are okay. Come on. Jack, tell me the beacons are fine. Oh, thank God. Paddock, Baird, beacons are secure. They're also a hell of a lot bigger than I was expecting. I don't think we have room for them all on the skiff. I'll have my people transport them. Fine, but Delta, I need one here ASAP to get a head start on calibrating them to our network in New Ephira. Can you do that? Yeah, I'll uh, carry it to the skiff. <clears throat> well, that's heavy. All right, Baird, we're heading back. Paddock, send your people for the rest of these beacons when you can. Delta, let's get back to the skiff. You know, if Paddock's sending folks out here, we should probably pay off the rest of the school. He's lost enough people. Yeah, sorry guys. I'm not gonna be much use in a firefight at the moment. Stay close to me. Too bad. We're going back into it. Okay. 
Okay, Delta. Our way out's on the other side. We got swarm, people! Get behind those sand glass things! They're all broken right! Yeah, tomato, tomato! <laughs> Not damaged. That's the important part. Kind of relying on you to keep it safe. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Hey, the world, no pressure. Hear that? Storm's died down. Yeah, now that we're through it. Come on, let's check on the skiff. <clears throat> Come on, Delta. Let's get back to the skiff. You know something, Kate? You're pretty good at this military leadership thing. I'm not trying to be good at anything. Yeah, that's probably why you're good at it. When we're done showing the corporal compliments, we should decide whether we're heading straight back to the airfield or not. Faz is right. Oh, man. I'm saying it gives you my soul. Fortunately, it doesn't happen, though. Well, there's one thing I don't get. This wasn't UIR territory originally. 
So why'd they build their Hammer of Dawn program so close to the Cog border? That's Gari technology, my friend. It's what we're known for. We invented the transistor, the microchip. Of course, while we were making the world a more civilized place, our neighbors were inventing tanks and rifles and missiles. I reckon the UIR moved in, found some lovely facilities, and said, oh, hello, we'll take that. Piss off, thanks. I mean, where's the most devious possible place to build your super weapon? Right along your enemy's border. Brilliant, really. So are Paddock's Nomads up to the task of hauling back the rest of those beacons? Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. And it seemed pretty tough, but this desert's not forgiving. For anyone. Baird trusts Paddock, we trust Baird. So by the transit of property, we trust Paddock's Nomads. The tr transit transitive what? Book spas. They're filled with valuable insights and concepts. Now, honestly, I wouldn't know. How about this? We trust Paddock and his nomads till they give us a reason not to. And they haven't yet. Works for me. What did Paddock say they're doing here? Trying to get their water supply back online. So we meet again. Paddock, where's Baird? In back. He was explaining to me the new modification he made for your little pot frame. It was boring, so I came out here. We should probably unload this targeting beacon ASAP. <laughs> and you think that's going to save the world? Baird, we're here with the beacon. Excellent. Set that targeting beacon down. I'll deal with it in a bit. Gladly. Uh, hey, Baird. Can we talk? Yeah, uh, listen, kid. You still got a rocket to launch, and I need to get back to New Afira. Yeah, right. Of course. JD. We're fine. I'm just working through it. We can talk later. I appreciate that. Thanks. Paddock said you were working on something? Yeah, uh, a new and improved shield prototype for Jack. Go ahead, install it. About it. It's actually very interesting. First, it creates an ionized vector. Baird, cancel class and get out here. Swarm coming in. Short version, it stops bullets. Now get out there and use it. Delta, come on. Wounded! 
was uninvited. You pay the price. <laughs> Get to the tarmac before Bear loses his ride home! Smoke up ahead. Shit. Yeah, it's a convoy, all right. All right, let's get in there and see what we can do. Look, they're still fighting. We gotta help them. Eki. 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 
Paddock, mate. You hearing this? He says the beacons are safe. I'll send someone to pick them up now. And don't worry. They'll be well armed. So go. Deal with your rocket. All right. Delta out. All right. We're done here. Let's get back on the skiff. Delta, I'm heading out. I'll be in touch. All right, Baird. Safe travels. You too. And good luck. So, what's the plan now? The hangar. It's time to put that rocket together. Sounds good to me. What about Paddock's Nomads? They have stuck their necks out for us. Maybe we own something for them. Sure, but if we don't get our rocket launch soon, it's not just Paddock's Nomads we'll be worrying about. You know, I may have complained a bit. Or a lot. Or a lot, thank you, Del. But this has actually been a pretty ripping time, all in all. To sum it up, 8 out of 10. We'll do it again. And it's been surprisingly not terrible having you along. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah. Finish this. Paddock, we're back at the hangar. Everything should be ready. Good. Baird left instructions he asked me to read you. And I quote Get inside. Initiate the rocket assembly procedure. Launch aforementioned rocket and hope these satellites talk to ours. End quote. Wait. Hope oh, the satellites talk to ours? What do you want from me? I can barely turn on a computer. Go press the button and see what happens. And there we are. Everyone's favorite rocket. Let's get down to the platform and throw a switch. Yeah, see what happens. Rockets assembling. Look out! There's a bloody snatcher in here! Son of a bitch! You know, I, I think it did that on purpose. Who gives a shit? We need to get that nose cone back into place!
them all. We gotta get on that gantry and realign the nose cone. <laughs> Jack, get this thing aligned. Rocket delivered. What now? Now we raise it into position. Manually, from the looks of it. Which Come means on. we need to find the control room. Yeah, initiate launch. Oh. And then head back to base. Oh, bloody hell. No one told me hanging with you lot would be so much work. Okay, well, the UIR definitely didn't design this with the jack interface in mind. All right, Jack, go ahead. Don't be shy. supposed to happen, right? Doesn't make it any less weird. Thank you. And there you go. One rocket successfully raised. Need some spot translation. Wait a minute. You initiated launch? 
So this is no affair. Home to industrialists, techno-fascists, reactionaries, and cowards. Yeah, also decent food, clean water, and showers. Eh, overrated. Delta, welcome home. Get cleaned up, then come to my workshop. I'll send someone for the beacons. Copy that, Baron. After you. Hey. Thank you, by the way. Oh, there's no need to thank me. Aww. Is the band back together, then? Should I take a picture for your scrapbooks? God, you're an asshole. Oh, stop falling in love with me. Honestly, it's embarrassing. So what's the deal? Are those satellites hooking up yet? Well, they're definitely buying each other drinks. All right, kids, gather around. And now, observe. Sure, nice demo, Baird, but uh, is it gonna work? Well, for that, we're gonna need a test fire. Forget test fires. We need an actual target. Uh, if we're selecting target, shouldn't someone with real military authority be here? It's Foz, right? <clears throat> yeah, yes, sir. Shut the fuck up, Foz. Yep, sir. The swarm have their queen. That means they've got a special hive somewhere. A nexus. Some place where they're vulnerable. Okay. So how do we find it? We don't. 
because you might already know. How would I know? Look, I'm gonna level with you. While you were gone, Jin was raising holy hell about getting you hooked back up to the hive mind. I'm sorry, what? Don't worry, I talked her out of it. But I need you to think about what you saw in that vision. Every detail. Is there anything that helps us? No. I mean... I mean, I don't think so. We'll take it from here, Sergeant. Uh, excuse me, do you not knock? First Ministers don't need to knock. Really disagree. Jin, I told you, it's not gonna happen. And what about you? Well, considering the thing that linked me to the hive mind is dead, we killed it, by the way, you're welcome. And considering that I don't trust you at all, I'll have to decline. Arrest her. What? Jin, are you nuts? Ma'am? Iris, what's happening? Multiple security breaches. Old Afira ruins. External camera 16. External camera 15. Camera 10! Oh, damn it! They're here. Then we're going out there. Yeah, okay, I get it. You can help us end this. <laughs> Lady, what the fuck do you think I've been doing? Delta, gather around. Tell me we got a plan. We do. This is a targeting beacon. Yeah, no shit. We're the ones who brought him back from Vasco. Give me a break, Lieutenant. I just work here. The point is, we gotta plant these things all over the old city. Just handed Cole and Foz theirs. So, where do we plant our beacon? East Barricade Academy. Once it's in place, you'll have a live hammer radius. And you can start hitting back. We clear? Clear. I'm not gonna lie, it's real ugly out there. Then we watch each other's backs, like always. So help me plant this beacon down the street. Bed, Sarah's goes rolling out with our beacon. See you on the other side, Delta. Where am I going? Patty, get your beacon to the Tomb of the Unknown. Pilot, take us to him, wherever Hands that up. is. we got carriers! Delta, help my squad clear the area. You got it, Carmine. God damn it, they're right on us! Keep them off, Carmine! <laughs> beacon deployed! Bear! How long till I can fire this thing? Give it a few seconds to calibrate. Yeah, what if we don't have a few seconds? Shit! Damn progress bar stuck at 83%. Then unstuck it! Okay, now! Fire! Cole, we 
When you're done, get your beacon to its designated position. Thanks for the lift, Paul. Marcus got a bad bet. Least I can do. Academy's close. Let's get through this mess. Baird, Echo Squad can't land. Our Raven's taking fire. Just set down as soon as you can and get your beacon in place. By the way, that goes for all squads. We got a lot. where Paddock went down. You three head out. I'll stay back and protect this beacon. I'll see you on the other side. K-9 
count on it, James. There's the tomb of... Holy shit. Delta, I can't take over the hammer network until all five beacons are planted. Panic is the last one. We're on our way to him now. It's the beacon you gotta focus on. Everything else is secondary, and Attic would agree. Understood. Come on, let's get in there. Someone get the other side. So, tell me, which of you wants to die next? Panic! Delta's here! About time! Now help 
be quit all these Garayaski! You should show me some respect. Get out here! Mortar on the way! Beacons got in the Raven Wreckage. Maybe a toaster can get it down. Jack, secure Echo's beacon. Thanks, Jack. Now to plant it. I got it. Mm hmm. I think it looks right. Our plan was to place the beacon behind the tomb. So go do that, and I'll guard the front. Oh, 
And if I die, it wasn't terrible working with you. Likewise, Paddock. Let's go, Delta. You've made 
made your choice! No! Now die with it. I'm so sorry, man. Now we have to go. Jack. Lights, please. Hey, you 
heard him. We gotta move. are still up. Delta, I'm popping smoke. I need you here ASAP. We're surrounded. I hear you, Dad. I'm coming. Come on. He's in trouble. It's not gonna help anyone if you get yourself killed. I'm fine, Kate. Okay, I'm fine. Marcus, we see your smoke. We're almost there. Roger that! Just hurry! Oh! <laughs> 
That's it. We're clear. <sighs> Thanks for the save. Hey, where's Dell? You lot need a ride. Hey, Del, look who's saving who again. Right faster! 
That railgun's gotta recharge between shots. So get on a turret and hold these bastards off! You heard him, Delta! Take out those blocks!
She'll be back. I know. But not if we find her first. <laughs> 